During the early morning hours, the morning hours before the kids got there, did everyone go and get dressed, I take it? At some point in the day, yeah. Okay, uh, everybody takes showers and baths and everything to get cleaned up for the day? I don't remember. Doubt if the kids did. Okay. They're not interested in baths usually. Okay, so everyone just got dressed and then the kids started coming over to the house. Uh, the kids were playing then I, you know, got them dressed and then we, they were in play clothes and so we changed and got cleaned up to go over there. So that was in the afternoon? Yeah. Okay. And, and John Bonet, uh, you know, was getting cleaned up and... When did John Bonet put on those Wednesday underwear? I am sure that I put the package of underwear in her bathroom and she opened them and put them on. Sometime after John got back from the airport, we went over to Priscilla and Fleet White's house for Christmas dinner. She had cracked crab for the kids. And then after the Whites, we stopped by the Walkers and dropped off a gift. And then the Steins and dropped off their gift. And then we came home. He carried her up and put her in bed. And I got her, you know, pulled off everything and put her, I left the shirt on and put the pants on. And remind me, what shirt did she go to bed in? Was that the same shirt that she wore to the Whites that night? Yes. And that consisted of simply getting her under the covers? Well, I changed her and took the black velvet pants off and found those, those long underwear pants and put on her. John Bonet wore Wednesday underwear and long johns. She ate fresh pineapple from a bowl about an hour before her death. She was assaulted and then cleaned up and redressed. She was strangled with a nylon cord with the broken paintbrush handle. She was hit in the head and her skull was fractured. She was wrapped in a white blanket and placed in the wine cellar. Someone wrote the ransom note and placed it on the back stairs. I gasp for air. For a moment my heart pounds so hard I can barely move. I race back up the stairs and stumble towards John Bonet's bedroom, pushing the door wide open. The bed is empty. John, John, help, I scream. John Bonet's gone. He meets me wearing only his underwear. There's a note downstairs. I can barely speak. Someone has taken John Bonet. I feel the blood rushing from my head. For a moment, I feel like fainting. She's gone, I cry. John Bonet's gone. My stomach wrenches. John tears down the stairs. He seems to be shouting, but nothing makes any sense. Burke, John yells. What about Burke? Both of us race to Burke's room at the far end of the second floor and find him apparently still asleep. Best not to arouse him until we figure out what's happening here, I think. He's better off asleep for now. I step into the hall. I have to pause my video right here. None of this makes sense. It says here, I scream, John Bonet's gone. And then John yells, what about Burke? But then Burke, he's apparently still asleep. You would think he would be woken up by all the yelling and his name being called out. And then it says there's a note downstairs. And then John tears down the stairs. But then he yells, what about Burke? And then they both race to Burke's room. So John must have ran back up the stairs to the second floor. 
and then after that he runs back downstairs again to look at the ransom note and then did he pick up the ransom note when he was down there or did he almost get to the ransom note and then think what about Burke and then ran back up to Burke's room How about John Bonet's room? What was the condition of the room? Well, I remember racing over and her door was just kind of slightly ajar. And what were you demonstrating? What, three? Three, four, you know. Okay, is that the way you left it the night before? Yes, that's usually the way I left it. Okay, what about John Bonet's door? Is it normally open or closed at night? It's usually partly open. Okay, and again, about how far is it partially opened? Just enough to let some light in. Yeah, it was. I remember she was on the phone. I was, I think that was when I was looking at the note again, which was on the floor and I was in the back hallway. Okay, can we back up for just a little bit? Was John Bonet's, when you guys were coming back, do you recall whether John Bonet's door was open or closed? I didn't notice. You didn't notice? What kind of father are you? How can you not, how can you not remember? Here's the Boulder District Attorney's Office statement in 2008 when they said that the DNA result exonerated John and Patsy Ramsey and other family members. And they based this on the unknown male DNA being found on her underwear and then on the waistband of the Long Johns on the right and left side, on the exterior right and left side. This part of the statement explains how they collect the DNA by the scraping method and compared that to the sample they had from 1997. And here's the results from the 1997 DNA testing which found that the majority component matched John Bonet and the minority component under John Bonet's fingernails and in her underwear was the DNA of the unknown male, their suspect. But the fingernail DNA doesn't match the underwear DNA. Now here's the issue that I see. If you look at the Long Johns, you can see that little part that's cut out and it's urine stained right there. And the urine stain lines up with the underwear urine stain. And if you look at the part that they cut out of her underwear, it's in the urine stained area. So that means that any DNA that was on her Long Johns would have transferred or could have transferred to her underwear. And we know that the majority component is John Bonet's DNA. So if there was some minor unknown male DNA covered throughout the Long Johns, it could have transferred to her underwear. And naturally when they tested the items in 2008, the same unknown male DNA that was on her underwear matched the unknown male DNA on her waistband of her long johns. This is well, this ends this episode of Unsolved, and it's really a question about those long johns. Who do they belong to? Because I don't believe they belong to John Bonet. 
they were just kind of put on because she needed something to wear that night and she was going through a lot of clothes.